gotta get my fans up on me. They dig them up. They put these on the cell. I'm thinking about Trey. I'm gonna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles 2K coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm about to show you guys some of the best defense that you guys can run in Madden 25 as of right now. And as always, before today's video does get started, the only thing I do ask you guys to do is make sure that you guys are dropping a like on the video. And when you guys are subscribing to the channel, make sure that you guys are turning on post notifications so you guys do not miss any videos from me in the future. But with all that being said out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the playbook that we're going to be using is going to be the Carolina defensive playbook okay and a lot of people was asking me can you use different playbooks different teams playbooks because you could not do it in college football 25 so let me just go ahead and tell you guys playing online head to head yes you can use whatever type of playbook that you guys will like now i'm not sure if you can use customs but you can switch and use different team playbooks that is not the set playbook for that team unlike you can do in college football 25 so i just wanted to clear that up but anyway the defensive playbook we're going to be using in today's video is going to be carolina the uh formation we're going to be using is 335 penny okay now when you guys are on here and you're in packages what you want to do with the right stick is go ahead and make sure that you do go over until you hit slot cornerback all right Make sure that you do have this on. Uh, this is the package that we're going to be running. And now once you guys do have that set up, the play that we're going to be running uh, base is going to be cover three sky. And the second play we're going to be running is pinch blitz zero. And um, once you guys have those two plays ready, here are the coach adjustments that you guys want to be running. So you want to have your auto flip defensive play call on off. Your auto alignment, you're going to put this on base. For me, I put my cornerback matchups on speed. You can put this on whatever you guys do like. Uh, the two that I do alternate between is going to be by overall and by speed. Uh, so it's just completely personal preference, but I like to play it by speed. Now, when it does come to the zone drops, uh, you're going to be putting your zone drop flats on five, your curl flats on 15, your zone drop hooks on five as well. And when it does come to your option defense, you're going to put this on conservative, your strip ball, you're going to put this on conservative as well. And these are all the adjustments that you guys want to have on before running this defense. And once you guys do have that, let me tell you guys what you're going to be doing. And all right, this is what the defense is going to look like base uh, when you do come out in it. And I'm going to tell you guys the adjustments that you're going to make. So the first adjustment is you're going to hit left on the d-pad and then hit down on the d-pad to pinch your d-line and then you guys are going to hit left once again and then down on the right stick to go ahead and make your d-line crash down it should look exactly like this now depending on whatever type of um offense your opponent is in if they do have a running back on the field, what you guys are going to do is put a hard flat on the side where the running back is at. And to do that, what you guys will do is double tap right uh, on the D-pad and then select X. And then you guys are going to hit um, left on the uh, left stick to put that person in a hard flat. Depending on whatever side it is on, you will always be left on the left stick to put them in a hard flat once you guys do double tap um, right on the D-pad. But this is what it should look like. You know, you're just going to have a flat out there and everybody else is going to stay where they're at. And this is completely what the defense is going to be. Now, you can add QB contains if you would like to make sure that the uh, quarterback does not get out of the pocket. But once you guys do have it set up just like this, your assignment will be this linebacker right here and you will stay into this hook curl um you know middle side of the field and the other hook curl will be you know contained by the computer and this is basically what it will look like you want to just bring the linebacker right down here to get a little bit of a uh, disengage or whatever you know towards that get the pressure there a little bit quicker but this is basically the defense right here you know everything will basically be covered and uh yeah man that's pretty much basically how i set up my cover three you know if you uh want to you know get a little bit more difficult and technical with it you can you know change your zone drops to you know shorter drops uh, that just makes the coverage a little bit tighter. But for me, this is how I prefer to run it. And this is how a lot of people prefer to run it uh, as well. And now the whole objective of this defense is to get the person that you are playing to throw the ball to you. And, you know, instead of throwing at the computer, because sometimes if they do throw it to you, that can be an easy pick as well. Now, I did go ahead and switch the play that the computer was in to show you guys what it will look like on the other side. If you do have a flat or if you have, you know, some somebody that wants to run a different type of play, you know, involving a running back that puts him on the other side of the field with a flat. All you would do is the same thing, which is double tap on the uh, right pad, hit that uh, linebacker that is on whichever corresponding side and then left on the left stick to put either one in a uh Hard flat and now i also um after this play i'm going to show you guys what it does look like if you have two uh hard flats on the field but i'm going to be honest with y'all putting two hard flats on the field uh you know you will only be sending three so the pressure might not be as good but um pressure still can be you know 
get in there if you do send only three. So this is what it will look like sending only three. You will have to take care of the middle of the field yourself though. You will no longer have any help, you know, coming towards the middle. You will no longer have any help, all right? So please do keep that in mind. And basically this is what the defense will be looking like if you do run it. All right, now another thing I wanted to show you guys is if you do have to change the flat and it is having to be on the left side of the field, what changing that is going to do is take one of your uh, curl flats out and it's going to put it into the hard flat. So it will just make it seem like you have, you know, to cover the middle of the field. So in order to change that, what you guys will do is uh, double tap on the right stick, select X, and what you're going to do is put X in a vertical hook. Now putting him in the vertical hook, what that is going to do, he is going to cover that uh, right side. And what you're going to do is basically replace the linebacker that is now in the um, the hard flat. You're going to cover this left side of the uh, field, just like you guys see me doing right now. And uh, everything is uh, covered. He just pretty much took off with the ball. Really did not have any read at all. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much all that there is to it. That's pretty much all the adjustments that I do make. You know, it's not hard to do the adjustments, guys. Please don't think it's too hard. Once you do get into the practice arena and you actually do it and actually, you know, start getting familiar with it, it will be like muscle memory, bro. And you guys will be able to do these adjustments on the fly without any problems at all. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the zone defense and how to set it up. Let's go ahead and move it to the pinch blitz. It's very easy and simple to do this. And now, the reason why I say the pinch blitz for last is because it's super easy and simple what you will do. Just hit left on the D-pad. You're going to hit up on the left stick to spread out your D-line. You're just going to simply uh, contain for the QB. And then you're just going to simply hit left on the D-pad and down on the right stick to make them crash down. Just like so. And this is the only thing you guys will do. You just want to bring the linebacker down just like so and get that you know disengaged going once the play does start boom just like that and it's going to cause crazy crazy pressure and they do have to get the ball out or it will be a sack every single time all right now once again it was so quick and simple let me show you guys how to set it up once again so left on the d-pad up on the left stick left on the d-pad again down on the right stick and then r1 twice and make sure that you do have your linebacker sitting right here and as soon as the disengage does start you just want to drop back into coverage just like so And as you guys just saw, either he's going to have to make a read or he is going to get sacked. It's just as simple as that. The pressure is just so crazy. When it does come to this, just make sure once you do see uh, the lineman start to run towards you that you do back up. So, you know, you don't get stuck and you cannot drop back into cover. And now, as you guys just saw, basically the person that you're playing is either going to have to make a read or he's going to get sacked. Now, the only hard part about this is just make sure that you do not get uh actually blocked by that lineman as soon as you see that lineman come towards you you just want to simply get off of him like you guys just saw he jumped on me and i did not want to you know stay engaged with him so if he does actually get you just make sure that you do back up off him because you want to be dropping back in coverage as well to potentially catch you a pick but uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to it and that's pretty much how you guys will run 335 on matter 25 as of right now and that is how everybody is running it and uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video and make sure that you guys are turning on post notifications. It's me, your boy, Charles 2K, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.